Hi, I just wanted to hop on and share something before I lose the momentum of, <clears throat> you know, wanting to share it. And that's that even though I had a really beautiful conversation last week with a good friend of mine in the community, Amber, and we knew that she's already coming and I said I was going to come, even that wasn't enough for me to feel confident enough to just pre-buy my ticket to the party this Thursday, the 10th of the 10th. It wasn't enough and it just kept percolating all of this really dense stuff that we, you know, start to identify as something in the subconscious that is starting to come to the front of the queue and wait now for, for its time to sit down and really just to talk about, you know, what it is that he's been holding on to. And, oh my gosh, so I've bought the ticket now. And all that's happened in between is I revisited two memories of myself. I went to a younger time first and then I went back. So it's, you know, it kind of goes in the opposite direction sometimes. But uh, uh, I, I was five years old and at the time I lived in a pub when I didn't really have any friends. My mum and dad just worked all the time and I had this private uh, fantasy life, fairy tale life inside my mind because I had to occupy myself a lot upstairs and you know not not really have any anybody looking after me either so there was a birthday that i had on my fifth birthday where i went sort of downstairs and all of these children my age were there and i just remember that i didn't recognize any of them and that the whole thing felt like a doll's house like a contrived party situation it must have been that my mum's friends and things like that that brought their children and it was a gesture of, you know, something that looked good and it was, it was meant in a kind way, but it, because I was such a sensitive child and still am sensitive. So um, this just sent shudders of embarrassment into my body and made me feel really unworthy of having real friends and just feeling all of those feelings like, like the humiliation and they must be talking about me, they must be saying, oh, who is this? <laughs> so I've had to deal with all that just to just to love that side that aspect of me and realize that you know I'm absolutely more than worthy of having friends I can still hear the voice going no you're not they don't really like you and this one's been a long time coming for me to to you know lay on the table and and love <laughs> um they also just then took me to my 22nd birthday where I lost my dad on the uh, the day before my 22nd so it kind of marked the end of my uh, childhood but I you know went and registered his death certificate on my birthday and I think ever since then there's been that association with celebrating myself as being something just you know there's a negative attachment to it something bad happens if I go to my to my birthday party or you know something like that and so I'm all this all this to say that, that that's facilitation work that that's really really helped me um book and just em embrace those shadows that are inside so I'm putting that out there just in case there's anybody who really wants to do something like go to the party I know there's only a few tickets left but if it's not this event, then there'll be something else where you think, oh, everybody else has got it together and I'm the only one. Don't think that because we, I think our shadows are all connected. And if you do the work on yourself, I think it just creates a chain reaction of people that have this invitation energy to do their healing work. And that's what I wanted to say today. So I look forward to seeing all of you and yeah, I'm glad that I'm going. Uh, that last minute dot com thing that that's been a habit that I've held myself back with for a long time. I can start to, you know, see it, see it with love and and have peace around, you know, that I can book things in advance and not need to just rock up at the last minute. <laughs> OK.